Well, hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be talking about the new Erin Condren Academic Planner, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I remember the Academic Planner back in the day when it was like bound, like it wasn't in a coil. Do you guys remember that? Anyway, I do. However, first things first, thank you so much to the Erin Condren team for sending me this. I really appreciate it. And I want to share this with you and do a little flip through. So let's talk about the Erin Condren planner, first of all. These retail for $37, and that's without any upgrades. I believe that the coils are $10 additional for the different color coils. I am a fan. I, I got the platinum coil, so that one is actually included in there. Your calendar options, it's a 12 month planner, but you can choose August through July, September through August, and then also January through December, just depending on how your school year works, or some people use the academic planner just like for their daily life as well. You can also personalize your cover and do all of those things. And I believe that the only um, option for the insides is colorful. When I ordered mine, I didn't have an option for colorful or neutral, so that could be part of that. So anyway, let's flip her open and take a little peek. This is also a seven by nine planner. Here's my planner I am currently using, so it's the same. It's the same. Um, and the coil size is exactly the same as this one. This one, this one's seen better days because it's really full. But anyway, so this is the academic planner. Oh, yeah, I got August through July. I could not remember which one I ordered. Oopsie. Um, there's also a spot for your name, school, and then we've got 2019, or end of 2019 here, and then 2020. And this has a little projects tab. So here's your projects. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, I kind of like this. Um, I know a lot of people use this for work as well, especially if they have projects and things like that. I don't work in an environment where I have projects I work on for a long time. Um, once they get to my desk, then I'm usually done with them within a day. So I don't have like long progressive projects, but if you're like a project manager or someone that has ongoing projects throughout the year, this would actually be a really cool planner for you to have at work. Um, but anyway, this has projects and exams, or you could just do projects. Um, a description, it says class and then details. This could be just like the project name and then details. There's deadline, important date, and then like a little completed checkbox, which is also very satisfying. So there's quite a few on here. So there's three and three. And then we've got some more pages and more pages. Ooh, these are cool. Nice. It'd be kind of cool just to have like this is just me thinking. Um, it would be kind of cool to have just a planner or like a notebook that has just these pages in it, like just projects and exams or just something like that. That would actually be really cool because y'all know if you're in school, you've got way more projects and exams in a year than this typically. So that would actually be really cool. Anyway, so now we are into the planner. So we've got our August tab here and then we have a notes page. It's lined with little like kind of rainbow color, watercolor thing, I don't know, cool. All right, and then we've got August, which let me see where my planner is for 2020. Give me just a second, I wanna, I wanna see what it looks like compared to this. All right, so this is the planner I'm actually gonna be using starting this upcoming July, which it might be July by the time you see this, I'm not really sure. So, but I wanna go to the monthly page and see how, different it looks, or does it? I don't know. So here's kind of the differences. So yeah, this one is like very colorful and has like, you know, the colorful tabs and the, you know, the rounded corners and things like that. And then this one is just like straight corners and still has, like over here I put this, but it still has the um, color blocked area as well. So cool, all right. I just wanted to see the difference and see if there was, you know, huge differences or not. So yeah, but love that they have the upcoming month right there. That's always super helpful. All right, and then we have July, 2019, the very end, and then we have August. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to-do lists, and then things are kind of broken out a little bit. Um, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday are two little things. So again, this would be great for work. Um, if you work like a normal, like Monday through Friday type of a job and then yeah so these are the weekly pages and just for comparison because I have this here and if you all are debating 
between you know a life planner or whatever i have the hourly um but this is you know this is the difference basically you know you just got more room um I think this one just has like more room to write in it just because your Saturday and Sunday are so small. But again, if you don't, you know, want to put academic stuff or work stuff on Saturdays and Sundays, I don't know. But like, I used to actually work like a retail job where I had Sundays and Tuesdays off. So I would probably, if I was still in that job, which I'm clearly not, I would maybe make this like my Sunday and Tuesday and then like rename the days or whatever to just fit my needs, but yeah. Cool. Oh, and then at the very end, you get some notes pages, which is actually really great. Um, so you can, you know, clearly write notes or anything else that you need to, you know, jot down or remember. So then we've got September, and I like that it has like the little watercolor things over there. I think that's really cute. Um, maybe they did that for like the colorful version in here because it is quite subtle, you know. Um, and then, you know, just like the little rainbow thing again, and then to October. So all the months are the same, and I don't want to be super redundant and go through every single month because that would be a boring video, Emily. Um, so let's go to the very back in July. I like to always see if they have other things in the back because sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. So let's go through July and see what's going on back here. Okay, so we have the notes pages like normal. And then, okay, and then it says arriving at one goal is the start of another. Awesome. And then this has a bunch of the Erin Condren stickers, which are great. Um, I, I always forget that they're in the back. Um, there's ones that say exam, midterm, test, quiz, read, paper due, study group, study, no class, vacation. And then we got a couple blank ones too, which is really nice. So that is that, and then there is my back cover. So yeah, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the Academic Planner for 2019, 2020 from Erin Condren. There is a link down below for you guys if anyone is interested in checking it out. If you've never purchased anything from Erin Condren, there's a special link for you that will give you $10 off of your first purchase. What will happen is once you sign up, Erin Condren's gonna send you a couple of different emails, but one of them will be a unique $10 coupon code for you once you place your first order. Once your first order is placed and ships. Full disclosure, I do get a $10 off coupon as well. So thank you so much. And that's how I can bring like giveaways and things like that to my channel. Also, there is a another link for you guys. If you've already signed up through Erin Condren, you've bought something there before. Um, that one is a just affiliate link. Uh, your prices are not higher or anything like that. They are exactly the same, but I do receive a small commission for sending you their way. So I really appreciate it when you guys use that link. It really helps out my channel. And and it also helps out Doyle's little kibble and bacon budget. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know down in the comments which planner that you use during the year. Is it the academic planner? And is it for academics? Or do you use it for work or special projects? Or maybe your home calendar or something like that? Or are you a life planner person? Maybe you're a focus planner person. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really curious to see. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can.